If you want to control your own 4K Pro Google TV box using your Smart TV's remote and also control your Smart TV's volume, turn it on or off along with your own TV box and vice versa, then let me show you how you can enable all this feature by turning on HDMI CEC on your own 4K streaming player. First of all, you need to enable HDMI CEC from on streaming player. So to do that, press the settings button, go to all settings, then display and sound and HDMI CEC. Now enable it, give it a second, and right after that, you'll be able to control your on streaming player using your smart TV's remote. But in case it doesn't work for you, then you'll also need to check if HDMI CEC is enabled on your smart TV. In our case, it's your Samsung smart TV, so we'll just go to connection, external device manager and turn on HDMI CEC from here. Now that it's turned on, let's go back to our own streaming player. And now you can control your own TV box using your smart TV remote. So there's one less remote to worry about. But in your case, if you want to use your own TV remote to control both your smart TV and your own streaming device, then turning on HDMI CEC alone isn't enough. So to control your TV's volume, power and input, you'll need to go to all settings, then go to remotes and accessories, and select setup remote buttons. And as you can see, even it says volume control is set to HDMI CEC, we are not able to control the TV's volume with our own TV remote. So we'll just select add device, then TV in case it's connected to TV and soundbar in case it's connected through a soundbar. Now choose your TV brand and let's start with volume. Press OK and your TV will start playing music. Now use your own remote volume up and volume down button to see if it controls your TV's volume. In our case, it doesn't work, and if it doesn't, press no, then try again. Don't lose hope and keep trying, and one signal will work. And when it does, just press yes, and now you can control your TV's volume using your own TV remote. But as it's infrared, make sure to point it towards your TV. And similarly, follow the on-screen instructions to set up the power and input option. Just like that, you have successfully set up all the HDMI CEC features on your own 4K Pro streaming device. So if you want more useful guides like this, make sure to drop a like, stay with us by subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.